There we go. <laughs> All right, so it is Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, and uh, I am Tamara with uh, RV Goily Family on Facebook, and we're doing the A to Z series, and tonight we're up to grapefruit. Um, so yeah, uh, as usual, I start by reading out of the Emotions and Essential Oil book. Uh, so grapefruit is the oil of honoring the body. Uh, it teaches true respect and appreciation for one's physical body. It supports individuals who struggle to honor their physical body and are caught in patterns of mistreatment. These forms of abuse may include severe dieting, judging one's uh, body weight or type, and abusing the body through ne negligent behavior or violence. These acts are often motivated by a hate and disgust buried within the psyche, which gets directed toward the physical body. Though the individual may obsess over how they look, Deep down, they never feel they look good enough. There is a dissatisfaction that persists. Grapefruit oil is often misused in overly strict dietary and weight loss programs. The reason this oil helps curb emotional eating is because it encourages a positive relationship with one's physical body based on love, tolerance, and acceptance. Grapefruit encourages integrity by respecting one's physical needs. This oil assists an individual in listening to their true physical needs and impulses. It also assists one in taking responsibility for what they feel. Grapefruit teaches that no amount of food can fill a hole in the heart. Only love can do that. As the individual takes ownership of their feelings and gets the help they need in addressing them, they no longer have a need to hide their feelings behind food, uh, body abuse, strict regimens, eating disorders, or other forms of addiction. So the emotions addressed then are hate for the body, addiction to food or dieting, eating disorders, and anxiety over appearance, and the companion oils. And the companion oils are the oils, if you didn't have grapefruit, that you could choose to use in the same way. Uh, patchouli, fennel, the metabolic blend, which is slim and sassy, and the focus blend, which is in tune. Are some that you could choose to use. So, look at the rest of my notes here. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to share my screen. So there's a nice graphic here. And if there's noise in the background, it's because I'm at the fire station. Uh, my son, it was parent night tonight for, uh, he's in the cadet program. So uh, so we get to watch him run through their little revolution of driving the truck and hooking up the fire hydrant and all that jazz. That was really cool. So, uh, grapefruit essential oil is derived from the rind of the grapefruit, so it's cold pressed. It's one of the ones that's cold pressed. Um, and there's a fun fact that the name grapefruit is attributed to the fruits growing in clusters that resemble those of grapes. I don't think I've ever seen a grapefruit tree, so I don't know if they grow in clusters. I don't know, but that's what it says. So the grapefruit plant is a small perennial tree that grows to be 15 to 30 feet high with an equal spread of branches. Um, doTERRA grapefruit essential oil is extracted from the peel or rind of the fruit. The main chemical components are D-limonene. Uh, limonene is in the monoterpenes group and possesses strong uplifting aromatic characteristics. The uplifting benefits found in limonene are what make grapefruit oil a great oil for aromatic use. Uh, and I can attest to that. I add a drop to my um, vacuum cleaner on the little bed part, or the, um, filter, there we go, on the filter. And uh, when you vacuum it, it smells super, super good. So. Um, so the uplifting benefits found in limonene are, I already read that. Limonene also has the ability to dissolve oils, which makes it a common ingredient in hand cleansers, which is really um, oils that blend well with grapefruit are basil, frankincense, ylang ylang, geranium, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, and bergamot. Uh, the, remember that uh, grapefruit is going to be a photosensitive oil, so you want to make sure that if you have applied it anywhere where the sun would be shining on you, that you stay out of direct sunlight or tanning beds or anything like that for at least 12 hours. So you could apply it at night to be fine in the morning. Um, just something to be aware of with uh, grapefruit. Um, so one of the questions that always comes about is can you use grapefruit essential oil when you're taking prescription medications? Because there's a contraindication with drinking grapefruit juice, right? Because it can affect the metabolism of the, uh, the medication that you're taking as to how fast it's processed through your body. 
So according to Andrew Goff, who's a DO, he's, the, he's an emergency medical physician and he's part of doTERRA's medical advisory board. Um, this is what he says. Um, a lot of you probably know that grapefruit can alter the metabolism of some medications. That's because there's protein in the grapefruit, which are metabolized by cytochrome, cytochrome, excuse me, P450, which is an enzyme, um, which is in the liver. Uh, and that alters the level of metabolism. So like if you're on a medication like Coumadin, it can actually alter the level of Coumadin in your blood. It's not processing it. Fortunately, um, as an essential oil, doesn't have any proteins, you're not going to have that problem when using grapefruit essential oil. So it's safe to use with your medication. So that's directly from that doctor. Uh, grapefruit is found in Aromatouch blend, which is the massage blend. It's also found in the invigorating blend, which I think is cheer, could be citrus bliss. Not sure which one is. But it's, it's the invigorating blend. And the Slim and Sassy blend, which is the uh, Metabolic blend. There we go. So, top uses for help with weight loss, you could add a few drops in the diffuser, uh, will keep you motivated. Can be taken internally in a capsule, or you can put a few drops in your water also. To help with um, addictions and sugar cravings that you might have, uh, you could diffuse or take it internally in a capsule. For overall detox help, you could dilute and apply topically to your feet, or, and that would be the bottoms of your feet or take internally in a capsule. To help with lymphatic and kidney cleansing, you could use it internally, you could use it in water, or you could apply it diluted topically over the lymphatic system. So you could apply it over your neck, where the lymph nodes are, um, the center of your chest, which is your thymus, um, and the spleen, which is on the left side, bottom of your ribs. So you could apply it over those areas. And you could also apply it over your kidneys to help cleanse and improve um, growth function. So for breast and uterine health and to help balance progesterone, you could use internally in a capsule or apply topically. To help with adrenal fatigue, you could use this topically with basil essential oil over your adrenals. And these are, they sit right above your kidneys, so they're kind of uh, mid to lower back right above your kidneys are. Um, you could also apply it on the bottoms of your feet or you could take it internally in a capsule to help support uh, gallbladder function. You could take it internally with geranium essential oil, put a couple of drops in those two-piece capsules and then fill it with some carrier oil, take that. To help ease symptoms, uh, say around New Year's Eve, like when you tend to drink a lot of alcohol, you could take uh, grapefruit essential oil, a couple of drops in a capsule and that will help um, to process that better. Um, to help you focus and keep the mind from wandering, you could diffuse grapefruit essential oil this will help promote a sense of focus while studying or reading. Um, I do have some uh, recipes. Sorry, I was drawing a blank there. And I will post those in the comments. So if you're watching the replay, be sure to check the comments because these recipes will be there. So there's a citrus diffuser blend. It has two drops of grapefruit, two drops of juniper berry, and one drop of wild orange. There is an invigorating body scrub, which would probably also be great just as a hand scrub to get any like, grease off. Excuse me, so if you work on cars or anything that's greasy like that, it would be nice for that. So it's a half a cup of coconut oil, a half a cup of brown sugar, 10 drops of peppermint oil, and 25 drops of grapefruit oil. And you just mix them together in an airtight glass container, and take a little bit out, you know, massage it with your hands, and then rinse it off. There's a spring diffuser blend, which has one drop of geranium, two drops of lemon, and one drop of grapefruit. And then for a romantic bath, so you could mix 10 drops each of ylang ylang and geranium essential oils, along with 15 drops of grapefruit into, you wanna put all of that into two cups of Epsom salts, and then you can pour that uh, under hot water as it's filling your bath, obviously. You wanna let the salt soak completely before bathing. So you can soak for about 15 to 30 minutes in that. And again, just remember when using grapefruit oil, um, it is a photosensitive oil, so make sure that you don't go directly out in the sun. If you have like a sun hat on and you can apply it to your face or anything like that or not, that's okay, just so long as you're not directly in the sun. Um, so if we're looking at the uh, graphic here, 
It is cold plast. Uh, so there they have add one to two drops to your water to support healthy metabolism. You can use it while dieting or trying to lose weight to increase your motivation. And there, so you could add it to your teenager's nightly facial routine, and then that was why you would add it at night, because then they'd probably have about 12 hours until it percent So this can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. It can be used neat with no dilution, but like anything, I just always recommend using a little bit of a carrier oil. You're gonna have less evaporation of the essential oil, and you'll be able to put it easier over. So if you're applying it to your face, say, you can put it easier over a bigger area. They give you a recipe on here for a glass cleaner, and that has a um, glass spray bottle combined one and a half cups of white vinegar, half a cup of distilled water, and eight drops of grapefruit essential oil to make glass I'm gonna try that one because I make a different one with lemon juice that I really like, but that sounds good too. So I'm going to stop my share and then unmute you. You guys used uh, grapefruit? Yes. 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 Made several recipes with it. With what? What kind of recipes? Um, a recipe. Hand scrub. Mm -hmm. And I put it in my water. And I um, can't remember what else I've done with it. Well, I've used it as an inhaler too. Oh, okay. And I add lemon and sweet and wild orange and lavender to it okay. in my in my little um, nasal inhaler. Nasal inhaler, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Alive. There's lots. I've got lots of recipes for. Oh, do you? Yeah. Ooh, you should share. You should share them. Yeah, you should put them in the. In the I will. I'll put them in there. Exactly. I got a lot of them. Winston says hi. Hey, Winston. What's up, buddy? Saying hi, mom. <laughs> oh, I actually just got grapefruit last week. Mm -hmm. So I love how it smells. I'm trying it in my water. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I used a diffuser blend with it last week, and I can't remember what else was in it, but it smelled pretty good. Yeah. I have one that has clary sage and grapefruit and lime Ooh. and lime sounds good can you, post, wait, can you post that one yeah i think there's three lime three grapefruit and then two clary sage and it smells super super yummy oh, it sounds yummy yeah i put uh, lime not i know it's not grapefruit i used lime the other day in my um avocado um tip that we made Oh. It was pretty darn good. Oh, like Ooh. a guacamole? Yeah. 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 Very cool. That's tasty. I can't get this screen off. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. So uh, if you're watching the replay and you have used grapefruit in some other way that you'd like to share with us all, you can post it in the comments, uh, the recipe that you might have used. Uh, next Wednesday, then, we are talking about HD Clear which is a oh. rolling metal blend that out that's really good for um, uh, facial blemishes and things. So we will be talking about that talk next Wednesday. And um, I hope you have a great evening and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Great. Bye.